Hello, welcome back to another weekly reset video. This covers the week of uh, January 9th through the 16th, 2019. We've got in the weekly store, nothing new in the event store. In the weekly store, we've got Santa's Little Helper, a launcher. I've heard, I've heard impact is a big deal on this guy. Uh, you got your epic schematics. We got our armory slots, legendary flux. All of our fluxes should be here. Epic, rare, yep, yep, yep. <coughs> Uncommon perk up. Rare perk up. No, that bigger legendary perk up. Tier, tier. Hydraulic shotguns uh, in the shop. That's uh, that's a pretty fun shotgun if you haven't used it. Um, that's neat. I know you could research the hydraulics and the scavenger stuff, but now that we're actually seeing it in the store, that's cool. That's cool. So the hydraulics here, you could evolve that into legendary, make it a pummeler. Gunslinger, you get your survivor for your um, manuals, or maybe you still need survivors to level up. And then you get your evolution materials, or you can go cash farm the Frost Knight cash run. We got Rescue Trooper. Again, still a good hero, but you'll need to make it at least epic for it to, to shine. Same thing with Controller. We haven't seen Controller very often in the shop. Um, controller is the same as um, Hazard. Hazard, the Friday the 13th Mask Halloween hero. Um, not Hazard, what's his name? Hazard the 13th, I think. Um, but uh, Rescue Trooper is pretty much your all-around... Soldier survivability and does some serious uh, not, not top-notch damage, but not mediocre damage it does damage and has plenty of survivability and then controller is your hundred percent Spec this is your decoy specialist Okay uh, We'll cover them briefly in a second. We got our reperk and the golden scar is back in the shop again and um, fire flame grill trap it's been, uh, it's been over a year since I've looked at this. I use it here and there, sporadically, not a whole lot. Um, it's not. It does some serious damage. It just has a, a serious cooldown. Um, it'd be interesting to go back and see if it still acts the same way it did a year ago when it came out. But that's... If that happens, that'll be another video. So we got Rescue Trooper and Controller. We'll cover those really quick. So here with Rescue Trooper, this guy looks different than the one that's in the store. Um, this was a uh, Twitch Prime reward a, a long, long time ago. Um, but it's just, it's still Rescue Trooper regardless. Um, now that you guys are seeing this one, you might have seen that damage resistance video, um, which may or may not have caused the armor perk in the game. <laughs> But, anyways, regardless, the in-game description of Rescue Trooper states, well-rounded mix of assault rifle perks, survivability, and ammo efficiency. Uh, this hero gets Going Commando, which is the minigun, Shockwave, which is what I say, Ground Pound, and Frag Grenades, which are boom booms. Okay. Advanced Tactics, every soldier gets that. Increases your range damage by 10% and your health by 10%. Why the ranged characters have health increased, and ninjas don't. Debilitating shots at standard across all soldiers, which is a stackable debuff on your target. It puts a cracked shield above their head when you're shooting that your teammates can also see. And debilitating shots is three stacks of 5% increased damage to that target. So a total of 15% additional damage um, after three shots. Steady aim, you reduces your recoil. Quick clip, reload speed. Um, survivalist, killing an enemy with an ability or weapon recovers five base health per second over three seconds. So you get a rolling hot heal over time uh, every time you kill uh, uh, something with uh, an ability or gun. Now, it doesn't stack. So if you're like, it takes one once every second for three seconds. So if you get a, a health tick, a health tick, and you shockwave and kill a bunch of husks, it just resets it back to one of three seconds okay it doesn't be like you killed five now you have five hots no no it's just a rolling uh, but it's nice because abilities right so you can throw grenades and get heals um, you can shoot and get heals ammo recovery at level 15 uh, damage in an enemy with an assault weapon has a 16 percent chance to generate one ammo for the equipped weapon um, and puts it back in your ammo reserves not in your active clip but you can save on ammo consumption with that perk assault damage so you just get a flat 24 percent damage buff on top of your 10 percent and then on top of your potential 15 percent from debilitating shots uh, but you have to use assault weapons you can't use snipers or pistols or shotguns heavily armored increases armor by 45 um, and then Waste Not Want Not increases ammo capacity, so your clips are all bigger also on your gun. So you can shoot longer without having to reload. Then you get reload speed. 
It's a super fun class. I like it. The bonuses from Rescue Trooper is ammo recovery. So if you really, really, really like that as a tactical, um, I don't know very many of us that run it, but if you do want the ammo recovery as a tactical, this is the hero to pick up. All right, here we are. Hazard the 13th. I was right. Couldn't remember his name to begin at the top of my head. Whatever. But he's a controller, subclass, constructor. Just like all constructors, he gets creative engineering, increases build speed, and reduces building cost by 10%. Uh, this guy gets a decoy, the base ability, and a bull rush. So bull rush and decoy. He is literally, sole purpose is to, against their will, relocate, reposition every husk in his way. Um, regardless if he's uh, seducing them with a sexy little decoy or if he's just going to take a big flat wall shield and just push them with his bite and his chicken legs. Okay, so again, this is the decoy specialist. His uh, in-game description states places upgraded decoys that damage enemies in addition to pulling them off of walls. So that's ideally his job. Gets going and going decoy lasts 2% longer, so it'll just last two, two seconds longer. Uh, decoy stun, when it's destroyed or expires, it creates an explosion that, that stun, it deals impact and stuns enemies for one and a half seconds. Um, so anything around it. I don't know how big the, um, the radius is of the explosion, but you get a one and a half second stun. I also don't know if it's uh, a guaranteed stun. Kinetic Overload is standard for all constructors. If you're using a hardware item and you critically hit with it, you'll cause an additional energy blast and damage that, knock back, that knocks back and does additional damage. Level 12, I'm just not user-friendly. Decoy reflects damage back to enemies that attack it. Um, again, I don't know how much damage this is reflected. Um, I should do a controller video, to be honest, if I haven't already. If I did, I don't think I visited these ideas and they need to be visited because I'm really curious about the stun. I'm curious about the damage that's being reflected. Uh, grease the wheels at level 15 reduces the cooldown of decoy by 10 seconds, so now it's, it's going to be more readily available. At 18, you're coming with me. Increases decoy enemy attract radius, which makes basically it's just this big, massive circle that attracts everything to it. Uh, level 25, you get firewall. What this does is when uh, here, I'll just 16 second cooldown, melee attacks against constructors. Shield, you have to have your shield. You can't have no shield in health. You have to have shield. If someone chips away at your shield, it triggers an AOE blast of energy damage that knocks back enemies and does damage. And it occurs in a 0.5 radius around your person. Um, so one person triggers it, boom, everything around you gets knocked back if they're within that half, half tile radius um, and they take all damage. And then it doesn't happen again for another 16 seconds. Level 30, get ready for surprise. Decoy explodes when it is destroyed and expires. Um, again, this doesn't say how much damage it does, so we're curious. I'm curious how much damage it does. Bonuses. Healthily. He healthy. Healthily? Healthily. Healthy. Increases maximum health by 20%. If you're looking for extra health in your support slot, pick this hero up. He gives it. Now, let's go back into here and uh, we'll look at... I already bought Santa's Little Helper. We'll boot it up and we'll play with it in a second. It's a rocket launcher. Also, like last week that I did not mention, because um, I didn't notice it, there was a weekly quest that merited a sword, a.k.a. a Christmas tree, okay? This week, if you do the challenge, you get a shotgun called the Pop Shot. Um, so let's swing over here. And here we are at the Pop Shot. I'm not too excited about it. Um, only because of the sixth perk. Um, we haven't looked at... Uh, let's actually do this. Let's do this. The sixth perk that I don't like. Getting five headshots in a row with a ranged weapon deals 30%. Extra damage for 10 seconds. Um, it's, it, it's it's just wrong on a shotgun, in my opinion. Um, what are the options? What can we do to it? It is a cool-looking shotgun. We'll play with both the rocket launcher and the shotgun here in a second. I just want to look at them. So the shotgun can go crit rating, crit damage, damage, headshot, and mag size. So a little bit of everything. Uh, more impact, reload, mag size, damage. You can put any element on it. Mag size, headshot, weapon stability. Why are they trying to make it a headshot gun? Is like, is the reticle like this big? I don't understand. Headshot, weapon stability, crit rating. More impact, fire rate, reload, and crit rating. All right. So we'll play with that in a second. You get that for beating this week's weekly challenge. Um, and that challenge is this. I don't have the quest because I've already done it. We did a bunch of it last night on the stream. Um, it's called Burn Bright. Use your time wisely as the time between waves is drastically reduced. Complete this challenge to earn a legendary weapon. Okay. 
what that means is the time between waves is like 10 seconds. It feels like there's no time, to be honest. It's literally just wave, 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 wave. Good luck farming. All right, so Santa's little helper, it has massive stats, okay? Um, causes affliction, damage reload. We want to see what, what it can do. Let's check this out. You got damage reload, durability, crit rating. Reload, crit damage, damage impact. You can change the element. Crit rating, damage to mist monsters, damage, crit damage. Damage to afflict. God, you can do whatever you want. I don't know what people run on, on rocket launchers. I don't use rocket launchers. Any of you guys that know or have been following the channel or my Twitch channel, I don't use rocket launchers. I don't, I don't know what damage i have no idea what to put on these things causes affliction um damage to afflicted okay okay there's some cool perks though you can pretty much do whatever you want i don't know what best in slot is though but what's important that i've been hearing everybody talk about with this almost a gun launcher is this let's go ahead and compare uh let's go find uh the dam buster right which is supposed to have the most impact Boom, right there. Both level one. You get more damage from Santa's little helper, and you have more impact. And a faster reload time. The range isn't as good. The crit's all the same. It's a fire. It's this. It's nuts. So the Dam Buster, I think, is one of the most coveted uh, rocket launchers, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the other thing that's crazy about the impact is the Dam Buster is part of the Hydraulic Weapon Set. The Hydraulic Weapon Set came out with the purpose of knockback, crowd controlling, and pushing back the husks. Um, the scavenger weapon set was uh, cheaper to cost but breaks faster. The vacuum tube set had built-in stuns. So every, every set kind of sometimes, well, not so much anymore, but all the original uh, limited time sets had a, a, um, a perk. And since this one had knockback and impact, look at look at the Santa's little helper. Let's go look at the bazooka. If I can I find a bazooka? Yeah, more than a bazooka. The Dragon's Fury, it obviously doesn't compare. Dragon's Fury is uh, you shoot basically an exploding cloud of uh, damage over time. And then, um, what else do we have down here, rocket launcher-wise? Doesn't compare to the Noble Launcher. Quad Launcher, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Quad Launcher has no impact and stuff either. I feel like there should be, should be more. Trash Cannon, doesn't compare to the Trash Cannon. Or, I mean, it's more powerful. Uh, vacuum tube. Vacuum tube could be close. The vacuum tube fires three shots. So if you land your three shots on your target, uh, it, it could potentially, I don't see, I don't know. Yeah, don't use launchers. But that's cool. That's cool. Let's, um, let's go shoot these. All right, so here we are in game. Um, here's the sword that I missed last week. I didn't know it was a quest reward at the time. Um, it's a Christmas tree. It's, it's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Not going to lie. Um, Every eighth hit stuns, and people are using these in groups of four to stun lock mini bosses. I shit you not. Um, anyways, that's last week. You can't get it anymore. If you missed it, you missed it. So we won't look at it anymore. New thing rocket launcher. Oh, it makes fun little noises. Oh. Oh. All right. Not much I can... I mean, I wonder if you could rocket right on this because it's big like a pumpkin. Maybe. Anyways, it's a rocket launcher. It's not much to show. Again, I'm not a fan of rocket launchers. It is kind of cool looking. Sounds cool. All right. Pop shot. Is it worth five, five headshots? Really? Oh, it sounds cool. Oh, it kind of fires that. What is it? Five, five clip? Five shots? That's the recoil. Ooh, it's got some recoil. I wonder if you can fight it. Let's see. I bet you if you play with it long enough, you can fight it. Oh yeah. Uh, it kicks left and right too. Oh wow. What's the range on it? Two thousand. That's not bad. The enforcer is thirty-six. Okay. Stalwart, twelve. It's not bad on range. Wonder. Oh, oh, I will. Uh, I like the look and I like the sound. Definitely be trying it out. Definitely spread. Ooh, I wonder. I wonder. Huh. All right. Well, those are your two weapons this week. Um, the launcher is in the store, and then the pop shot is for doing the weekly challenge, which is the limited time in between waves. 
Um, if I have any recommendation to you for doing it, um, we've been doing it with uh, with ease, to be honest. And um, if you've seen my solo build uh, or my solo run on Frost Knight, the onion build. Basically, all we've been doing is. Um, ah, what am I doing? Hold on. Beesh, beesh, beesh. Is I'll play constructor, and um, I'm the one that builds, and the other three players literally just go out and they feed me. They just feed me, and I get the onion going. You just have to get to 30 minutes. You get your onion rolling. You get your launchers. Make sure you have launchers and wall lights. And then even if you want to kill stuff, which is different from my solo videos where I wasn't killing anything, you can start throwing up wall darts because they'll go sideways. Um, if you want to check it out, we're going to be playing with probably the pop shot over the next couple of days. I, I'm really... I like it. I, well, I don't know if it's good, but I like the way it looks and sounds. So I want to play with it. And then I hate the sixth perk on it. And um, we'll be doing more Frost Night challenges for people. We got a bunch of people done last night for the 30 minutes. So uh, if you're interested and you're curious and you want to hang out and you want to see some, uh, some, some, some okay gameplay and meet some really, really good players, feel free to somebody that can speak English. Um, feel free to swing by Twitch at twitch.tv slash slightgumby. We're, um, we're live pretty much every day between 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, some of the nights, like last night, I went live around uh, midnight, and we were up till about 5 in the morning. So, uh, yeah, one other thing as a friendly reminder, it's, uh, it's not really kid-friendly. Um, my kid goes to bed. I go live. It's my time to be immature and act like a, a, an adolescent. It's fun. It's relaxing. It's time for us to hang out and goof off. But it's uh, it's uh, it's nothing that I would let my kid watch. Um, not that I'm a strict parent, but if you're a kid, you probably shouldn't be watching it. Your parents won't like it. Um, but if you wanna if you wanna regress and be immature and goof off and say and type out bad words. Um, place to be plus there's there's some gameplay i heard and some carries that occur too but if you want to hang out it's a fun cool atmosphere we've got a lot of cool players some of the top players um are there so uh, again twitch.tv slash slight gumby see you guys in the next one Bye bye now